Hey everyone, um, you know, some of you already know me from my first video on Tay Tay or Kate, whatever you want to call me. Um, I wasn't actually going to come back and do a video so soon, but the outpouring, the support, and it just seemed like what I thought this was going to be, it's like way beyond that, and I never thought of it. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a couple different short videos, and I'm going to just answer some of the questions I got. Because I try personally to answer every single one of my inboxes or my questions on the page. But for me, myself, it gets hard. I have a busy life as it is. So, um, hold on. There's always coffee on my, right by me. I live on it. <laughs> I'm addicted. Um, okay, so the main question that I've received a lot today is, how do you deal with someone saying that your marriage isn't a real marriage because he's locked up or your relationship isn't a real relationship because they're locked up? Now, um, I've actually spoken to one, a fan that I became friends with over the page and um, me and her were speaking about this today because me, myself, I come at it, I'm very quick, I'm smart mouth and you know that's not always the way we want to be. I don't want to be the defensive, stuck up prison wife no um so when the first time I was questioned you know I was very defensive I snapped pretty much like that's not the way I go about it now it was about two weeks ago I was in the store and um one of the ladies came up to me and she was crying she was very upset her husband just got locked up and she wanted some tips on how to deal with it well one of the other customers overheard me talking and when I walked by that customer, she stopped me and she said, well, if your husband's locked up, that's not a real marriage. And I said, oh, really? Well, what do you consider a real marriage? What do you do in your marriage that I don't do? She said, well, we make a budget. And I was like, yeah, so me and my husband, every month I tell him all the bills we have to pay, all the income we have come in, because my money is his money. And he needs to be a part of it because at the end of the day, my husband, he is the head of the household. Second, she said, they go on dates. I was like, okay, well, you know, we don't go on dates like you, but we do have date nights. Every Friday, we watch the same TV shows. And every Sunday, we will listen to the same radio station. He listens to Power 99, and I listen to um, Power 99, but I listen to it over my phone on an app. And we write a lot about the songs we heard, what we liked, what we didn't like, if it was a new song, you know, different things like that and what discussions they were having on the radio as well um, then she said well my husband cooks for me and I was like well that's awesome like I'm glad he cooks for you my husband unfortunately he can't cook for me but when he does cook he tells me everything he cooks and vice versa when I cook dinner I let him know what I'm cooking and, you know I make it feel like he's home and when he writes me, I kind of feel like I'm there with him because he's telling me what he's, how he's sitting, where he's sitting, what he's eating, everything like that. So, you know, we, we make it work our own personal way. And then the only thing that she really got us on was, she's like, well, every morning I wake up next to my husband. I was like, yeah, you know, my husband, he's 12,500 miles away from me. And um, we don't wake up next to each other. But because I work overnight, my husband, he wakes up at 3 in the morning, and that's when they, um, wake them up to eat breakfast. At 3 in the morning, every single day, I just write one line on paper. I write, baby, I love you. Good morning. Have a good day. And, you know, I'll write a few little things of inspiration for him. And he does the same thing, but he calls me instead of writes me. So, that's how I deal with it. Now, when I was speaking to my friend about it, she said that she wouldn't even feed into their nonsense, that she would question it right back. She said, if someone came up to her and said, how is your marriage a real marriage? She would be like, well, what makes your marriage a real marriage? Like, put it right back on them, because if you do that, she said, you know, 90% of the time, they're not going to have the rebuttal for it. So... There's two different ways you can handle it, and um, I hope that helps y'all out, and I'll be back. The next thing I'm going to talk about, I'm going to get more into the negativity that a lot of the prison wives we get and we see. So, tune in for the next video.
Have a nice night.